in this module we will talk about again the types of fermentation on the base of water requirement in the medium we know that water is very essential for the growth of any microorganism so on the base of the water requirement fermentation process can be classified into three major types solid state fermentation submerged or liquid fermentation and then the last which we called as third type that is surface culture or a jelly fermentations let's see what are these as concerned the solid state fermentation in solid state fermentation the microorganism grow on a moist solid with litter or a no free water also the capillary water may be present in this type of fermentation mostly the fermentation media looks solid and other physical condition of solid state fermentation that the media look porous and then the example of this solid state fermentation we can see in mushroom cultivations bread making process of coca and also in the manufacture of some traditional foods that is miso soya paste soya sauce and there are various different type of examples we can code here in solid state fermentation solid state fermentation in the literature is also known as koji fermentation because a scientist named koji have a detailed work on solid state fermentation so the solid state fermentation you can find in literature by the name of koji fermentation you can see here that this is the solid state fermentation happened in the tray fermenters as i already told you that solid state ferment fermentation is mostly involved in food fermentation as we can see here that wheat by aspergillus species soya bean by rhizopus species and soya bean also by aspergillus species in this diagram you can see that how the solid state fermentation look so the second type is submerged or a liquid fermentation in this process the microorganism implied growth in a submerged state within the fermentation medium we can say that if the medium have the tendency to flow excess of water is present in the medium that state that type of fermentation can be called as submerged in which the microorganism grow while you can see that sinking in the water in the medium so the submerged fermentation may use a dissolved substrate that is sugar solutions or a solid substrate suspended in a large amount of water to form a slurry in other form we can say that a colloidal solution can also be called as submerged fermentation in this slide you can see this uh, the condition of this in which you can see that the biomass is sinked and this kind of when organism grow in a liquid medium in a vigorously aerated and agitated conditions so such kind of fermentation can be used in pickling process brewing process and production of wine and soya sauce so the third type of this fermentation type is surface culture or jelly fermentation has no you know that jelly appearance when the water is present not in a you see an insufficient amount only the capillary space among the media is filled with that so it refer to those fermentation in which the microorganism is utilized to grow on a surface of the medium when the medium is a jelly and then the microorganisms or other organism only grow on a surface very suitable example is if you grow any organism on a agar plate so that when you solidify the agar that 
a major appearance is the jelly like so the surface culture at the jelly fermentation the organism is allowed to grow on the surface of the liquid medium without agitation after an appropriate incubation period the culture filtrate is separated from the cell mass and is processed to recover the desirable product the common example we can say that citric acid is commonly produced by this type of fermentation in which the mycelia remain floating on the medium so in this slide you can see the state of surface culture you can easily see here that how the mycelia grow on the surface so these are the three types of a fermentation on the base of the water content in the medium solid state fermentation submerged fermentation or surface culture fermentation